Hello, Father Matt Williams here, and uh, I'm on a walk, on, I'm on a break right now. I'm at the Theology of Body Institute out in Corysville, Pennsylvania, at a retreat facility called Black Rock, and I'm the chaplain this week with Christopher West. And I uh, just wanted to, again, check in with you and, and offer a, a little Lenten reflection. When you think of yourself or others, a lot of times we can operate from the perspective of a label. We can label ourselves like not good enough or failure or not worth fighting for or I don't have what it takes to be a man. We can even label other people. You know, we do it all the time, right? The cool kids, the, the geeks, the jocks, you know, those who we want to be associated with those who are not. We label people and, and we make judgments about them. We can even do that with God. Sometimes we, we label God and we say, well, you know, God's not someone who, can be, who is always faithful. He's just like the rest of us. Or it, does he really, is he really going to make true on his promises? Is he going to be faithful to our prayers? We can even label God. And the reality is, is that labels are for jars and envelopes and cans, but they're not for people, they're not for ourselves, and they're not for God. And so we have to like, be very careful. And for ourselves, we have to be able to name what are the lies that we've digested that we've taken in, that we've allowed to form part of our identity in saying, this is who I am, I'm a failure, I'm not good enough. People don't necessarily like me and I have to work hard for them to accept me. What are the roots of those things? If you were to picture Jesus looking at you right now, if you picture Jesus looking at you, how does he see you versus how do you see yourself? And when Jesus sees you, he sees you completely, body and soul. He sees your strengths and he sees your weaknesses. And he loves you completely and calls you to become fully the person you were created to be. He loves you as the unique gift that he created you to be. All of us, every single one of us, are a unique, unrepeatable gift from God our Father, who is a master creator. The Father is a master creator and you are one of his masterpieces. You're one in seven billion people. You're unique and unrepeatable. And the invitation is for you and for me to see ourselves as a gift and to see each other as a gift and not as a label. If we were to think about what it's going to be like in heaven someday, do you think God's going to have like these sections in heaven where the cool kids are over here and the, the not so cool kids are over here, the nerds are over here, the jocks are over here? Is God going to, going to separate us all out in, in, in heaven and we're all going to have different places because of our labels? No, God only has children and that's our deepest identity. And this Lenten baptismal retreat invites us to go to the core of our identity, identity as God's beloved children and to embrace that, embrace that reality. To embrace that reality that we are his beloved children. To embrace that profound reality. So I invite you, brothers and sisters, take some time today with the Heavenly Father to pray. Take some time to pray and enter into the silence with the Father. To let him say as he said to Jesus, you are my beloved son. You are my beloved daughter. And when we can begin to receive that, we can begin to see each other as unique gifts as well. God bless you. I'm praying for you. Pray for me.